Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Suit. We're playing a Gargoyle Wanderer of Lugonu, and we... what did we do like that? We got a rune, right? Have a spider? Yeah, nice. Um, it's been a couple days since I played, so I'm going to need to do some review. Uh, right, we wanted to get maces and flails up to 20, and we're working on fighting because it's good, and invocations because I've entered the abyss. Right, okay. It'd still be nice to get evocations a little bit better, but uh, honestly, it's pretty good as is. Uh, Weapon-wise, we just have the one. We have some swappable resistance rings and see invisible, which we don't need, actually, because we have the Mask of the Dragon now. We have two wands of teleport. You know, wouldn't mind if one of those were hasting or heal wounds, but I guess that's life. Uh, we have a few potions of might and agility, but not a ton. Uh, we're carrying brilliance, which, like, I don't ever want to pick up again. Uh, I have a lot of evocables, right? So it would be nice to get evocations up, but I think realistically I'm not going to anytime soon. The, the other stuff is just more important. And we got five levels of it, right? I mean, that's something. Anyway, so uh, we could go back to Shoals. Shoals uh, 4 is still largely unexplored. Um, but, I mean, the reason it's unexplored is because it's freaking horrible. Why would we go back? Uh, I would much rather, at this point, go to either Elf or Vaults. Are we better outfitted for one or the other? Uh, I mean, people often worry about having enough magic resistance in Elf, and we do have a lot of that. But I think that's just because they're worried of being cast into the Abyss, mostly. I don't know, I guess there's Paralysis there, which would be a big problem. But I'm not worried ab about being Abyss, really. Um, hmm. We have pretty good resists. Yeah, I think I'll try Elf. It could be wrong, but oh, is there anything on our shopping list that's exciting? Nah. All right, head over to Elf. So, uh, I'm also a bit, um, just coming off of finding and fixing a cool bug, I guess. Uh, you know, I don't know how, how much, okay, these are rock walls, they can't get me. These are, uh, I don't know how interested you guys are in that, but... Uh, you remember I was talking the other day about, um, oh, no, I don't think I mentioned it at all, actually. Um, there was some, like, sort of, uh, you could say, not, not like an actual game feature, but just like the way something was implemented was not good. It was unnecessarily uh, repetitive and so on. The code for it was just not very nice. Uh, so I did some work to fix it up. It ended up being shorter and better. It was all very great, and I was happy with it. Didn't seem to cause any bugs. You know, we merged it in. Um, and then it turned out just, you know, an hour or two ago that, that there was some new crash near some of the code that I had touched, and it wasn't clear if what I did was relevant or not. Uh, but it was, it was a bug that Pleasing Fungus uh, discovered that was... It turns out that the way to reproduce it was weird. Is uh, You have to start a new game. It only happens at the beginning of a game. Uh, if, like... It has to be the first time in a game that you switch weapons. And you have to be switching to a rand art, or rather any artifact, it could be random or unrand, uh, launcher, like a bow or a sling or something. And if you do that, the game crashes. Uh, so like this, this uh, whatever version of Crawl you're playing now, will not have that bug. If you're playing, like, anything stable, you know, the bug was only there for a day or two. And if you're playing Trunk, it's fixed by now. So, you know, if you are really excited about it, you can try to reproduce um, by, like, downloading an old version. Um, but you don't have to worry about it breaking one of your games. Anyway, so... I finally tracked down what was going on with that. 
uh, figured found the found the bug, which was in not code that I had changed, but the code that I like we had a, there was a function that was always wrong, but that it happened that it was never getting called until the change that I did the other day. Uh, it started actually being called. This is like I'm taking more damage than I would like. There we go, stupid elves. Anyway, so that was fun. It's, it's always nice to track down some weirdo bug and fix it. I don't need more rings of protection from gold. I have a lot of ice blast. I have so much ice blast. I have a lot of cure mutation as well. Let's drop those. Rings of intelligence weird is not picking up, I don't think. Yeah, these elves are doing, like, they do a fair bit of damage. I mean, that's kind of their thing, right? It is nice to know where they are, you know, with the antennae. Um, we have a lot of armor, so that's helping, of course. But, um, you know, having no evasion and only, like, medium resists means that, like, the spells these guys are using are, are hurting quite a bit because they land often. Uh, speaking of, we're kind of low on health, actually. Maybe I should stop talking about fixing bugs and start paying attention to the game. Uh, how about banishing them? Are they resistant? Not really. Uh, this guy is casting spells that don't really do anything. This guy... We have not seen cast any spells. So who was doing all this damage to me? Okay. Uh, the Deep Elf Archer. Uh... Yeah, he has some decent magic resist, though. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. Can they see invisible? They can't, right? Yeah, so let's let's try that. There we go. I should remember to do this more. I think... Oh, yikes. What is this? Where is this hand axe? Okay, uh, we're sort of not doing great here. I, I need to, to not be dumb. Uh, uh, I think we should probably enter the abyss. Give us a little chance to rest and recuperate. Come back out feeling refreshed. What else could I do? Um, I could uh, nail them with some... God, I just hate the Bill archers. They do so much damage, and they're so accurate. Hard to track down. I could nail them with Ice Blast, but I only have five levels of evoca evocation, so it's not likely to do that much. Uh, I think I just was not really paying enough attention, having just started the game anew. And uh, now I'm in a bad spot. Alternatively, I could try just blinking. They won't know where I am. Um... I could try controlled blink and like get away, you know, with a scroll blinking or something. But I think I'd rather uh, take my chances in the abyss. Oh, let's put put it on capital E. Okay, that took away all of my uh, MP. Oh, I didn't. Why does it, it just says pain? It doesn't say MP. Whereas if we look at B, it says it'll hurt you. Why are those both called pain? Huh. Like, I know it hurts. It takes away MP. Uh, but I did not exactly expect to lose all my MP. It's maybe not such a big deal. All right, let's go. Let's just go looking for, like, a place to hole up and hide, maybe. Like, here's pretty okay. You don't like to stay in place in the abyss for too long, because stuff piles up. But also, especially with these antennae, wow, I hadn't thought about that synergy. We can really, uh... Not sure. We can really keep an eye on when monsters are coming by and try to dodge them appropriately. As appropriate, I should say. Alright, let's get going over this way now. 
Uh, once I've got my health re recovered, restored, uh, uh, we're, we're going to exit the abyss, of course. We're not here for the rune yet. Rude. Get banished. <laughs> uh, good ability. Okay, he's going that way. We'll dodge this way. And it's time to exit. I mean, I don't know. I suppose we could walk around and look for an, an exit first. It's, I'm actually really surprised there are not more monsters. Given how long we've been in this one place, I would expect more monsters. Uh, what is this item? Potion of Agility would be nice to have, but I don't want to chase all that stuff down. All right, we're just going to leave. See ya. Oh, I should have gone invisible first. Hmm. Let's see how the Wand of Ice Blast actually does against... Well, it's not even going to hurt the, uh, the, cross, the, the hand axe. Oh, it does. Oh, because it does partial physical. It's not all ice damage. I forgot. Okay, I'm just going to use this to kill the VR. No, he's only moderately wounded. It's like, is it even really worth it? I guess so. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> ah, look at all these archers. We got him. And now, like, this is a perfect thing to use Ice Blast against because they're all clumped up. And we have a million Ice Blasts, so I don't mind. If this is helping, I'll do it. All right, there's just one archer. We can try chasing him down. Got him. And I heard some shouting, so we want to get out of that location before all the monsters converge on it. All right, well, I'm glad Enter the Abyss uh, resolved our problem. I was worried that the Abyss would be a bit nastier than it uh, apparently actually is. Um, I suppose... Part of it is because I'm not used to being on Abyss 1 for any length of time, right? I usually just dive deeper uh, right away, and so I'm expecting, like, Abyss 3 levels of uh, monster spawns. Oh my god, these Deep Elf Archers, man. They are the worst. I'm going to wait here. This is a good spot to uh, ambush him. Eh, no, no, you can't go back there. you got to meet me here. If they have these, they just blink all the time, though. It's not as much as it used to be, I think. There was a change that had uh, accidentally made them blink even more often than was intended, which I believe was fixed. I wish I, I kind of wish I had like some spells, you know, regen. Um, are we doing twelve? Enter the abyss is at nine. Regen, repel missiles, like just those two alone would make such a difference. Have we found them? We have found repel missiles. Is it worth working on right now? Maybe. When invocations gets to around like maybe 14, I feel like it'll be high enough. And of course, maces and flails is soon. Uh, we'll soon have enough of it. So, uh, at that point, maybe we can afford to divert into um, spells, utility spells. We're obviously not picking up any damage spells or anything. But I think elf is like gonna be fine. As long as we lure more carefully. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, all right, this is a few too many yellow elves, if I may say so. Hmm. All 
in particular the demonologist. Uh, well, I mean, he's going to summon fiends who will torment us, right? So that's not great. Um, but we're torment resistant. On the other hand, they'll also use damnation on us, so that's not very nice. Uh, I wish I had, like, some kind of terrain manipulation so that I could build a kill hole in here somewhere. Which one's the demonologist? He's there. What if I tried to nail him with a wand of lightning or something? Hmm. Wouldn't wouldn't be very good. Can't get much of a double zap or anything. Hmm. Lamp of fire? I'll try it. Uh yeah, just aim it like that, please. Wow. Perfect shot. I thought these things like tended to uh not aim directly on target, but maybe that changed when they removed the, the summons, the summon fire elementals from the equation. Well, that worked pretty well. He has a long sword, so he should walk towards us, yeah. These guys uh, don't want to walk into the fire, reasonable. What is what? Okay, shard of ice. We'll stuck around this corner here. Ew, Deep Elf Annihilator. Where is wait what? Where is he? Up oh, there. <laughs> yeah, I think we should not be an elf. Is my opinion. Um, we're sort of managing all right, but it's not easy. And I think vaults would be comparatively easy. So uh, as soon as I take out this group, we're gonna just leave. Um, now we could also leave before taking out this group. That's a thing we we have as an as an option. Yeah, you know, we don't want to banish an annihilator. I mean, I would love to, but we will not succeed in banishing him. I guess is what I meant. No, oh, he blinked out of the way. Thanks, buddy. Look at this silly little dance we're doing. There we go. We got him. All right, and we'll finish him with the Ice Blast so he doesn't get a chance to do anything nasty while we're at low health. Uh, I guess we might as well check for goodies here. Oh, that poor Orc Warrior. All right, so that was maybe a mistake. Mm, let's identify a new Wand of Ice Blast and also a Wand of Lightning, since I kind of wanted one in the last fight, maybe. And here we are in Vaults. Okay, Trolls and Ogres I am not concerned about, of course. But there's other monsters here. How's our mutation set looking? I think Evolution is still... Doing us, doing good for us. Uh, kind of interesting how doing well for us and doing good for us, I think, are both correct there, right? It is doing good things for us versus it is succeeding for us, right? Like, I think those are both okay. I don't know. I don't think it's terribly important whether we use the right tense. Or not tense exactly, maybe just the right diction. Uh, I mean, I gotta say, I like Antennae 2. Antennae 1, pretty garbage. Antennae 2, not bad. Kind of annoying, because you're constantly being interrupted by, oh, there's a monster. When, like, most of the time you don't care that much. But uh, if you do care, it's pretty handy. And uh, when, you're, when you're trying to be stealthy and avoid... I mean, even, it's not like we can be super stealthy, right? But um, in the Abyss, we wanted to be. All these Convokers, man. Oh, actually, speaking of, go to hell, buddy. 
They're a big threat in here because they can summon, not summon, but recall more dudes. Um, as well as uh, miting the ones who are here. I hear a deafening roar dragon somewhere nearby, I guess. All right, let's go. Yeah, you follow me if you want, Mr. Ogre Mage. Or just blink away, that's fine too, I guess. We'll go upstairs to rest. Okay. So we seem to be... I don't know, there's a big group of guys here, I guess is what I'm getting at. Maybe a battle axe. Can I banish him? Hmm, maybe. Ugh, uh, you get banished. Now tab these guys. Try to stay in melee with the Actars, although they're not as vulnerable as Centaurs in melee. Uh, Yaktars are relatively competent melee fighters as well as being quite strong uh, in, at range. Alright, so if I wanted to banish this guy, I could. But I'm going to attack him a bit first, because I think we can just kill him. We could roll very badly. Like, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain. Actually, I don't know how guaranteed damage reduction works, really. I, it's something I don't ever bother myself about, because it just generally doesn't matter. Um, mm, crawl armor in general, w like the way melee or physical combat works anyway, spells are a little bit different, is um, the enemy has like, let's say my current attack is like, okay, my great mace does 17 damage, then I multiply it by some numbers according to my skills, and let's say it comes out to 30, I have no idea. Um, and then we add 8 to that, so 38 is my nominal damage in this universe. And what happens is every time I hit a monster, we roll a number between... We choose randomly a number between 0 and 38, and that's how much damage I'm going to do. Uh, and then the monster's armor gets applied, and let's say it has 20 armor. Uh, we roll a number between 0 and 20, and that's how much damage is reduced. So I could do as much as 38 if I roll high and they roll low, or as little as zero if, like, I roll low and they roll high, basically. Um, what is all this junk I'm carrying? Uh, I bring this up because Etten, like, their damage, they get to attack twice, and, like, I'm sure they can roll as high as, like, 50. I, I would be pretty surprised if they couldn't. So, like, we could take 100 damage in one hit from Etten if everything, if they roll very high and we roll very low. But it's not something that's, like, realistic, I don't think. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, there's also this, like, plus three ring of strength. I think I'll keep the protection from magic. There's also this thing called guaranteed damage reduction, uh, which you may have seen abbreviated as GDR if you read, you know, if you read Tavern or whatever. Um, and I mostly don't bother myself about it at all. Like, because it just is not as, it is not super relevant. But if you're wearing heavy armor, you're guaranteed some percentage of damage will be reduced against you no matter how low you roll. Uh, and I don't know what it is for uh, any armor, really. I think for, like, maybe for gold dragon armor, it might be in, like, the 30% area or something, which is, like, pretty good. Um, but I'm, I'm not really sure. So, which I, I bring it up because actually it might be the case that it's impossible for Netten to kill us because guaranteed damage reduction would reduce it below the amount that, that kills us. I don't know. Well, obviously he can kill us eventually, but can he kill us in one turn is what, is what I was uh, trying to find the answer to. And the answer is like, man, I don't know. Just try not to die. I mean, it's not a very, uh, very sophisticated analysis, but I think it is probably good enough to like play Crawl well. These guys are all asleep. Ooh. Thank you. Enchant this up. It's slime creatures. You don't want to let them do that. So we'll just back up and let them spread back out. Really? That's a surprise to me. Uh, let's blink. 
and they should spread out soon. Meanwhile, we'll rest up. I thought that we would have given them enough of a chance to spread out. God, are you kidding? They, they, they combined again. Spread out! They're supposed to. There we go. Okay. There's much more dangerous in uh, when... So if you have, like... Basically, for exactly the reason I was ta just talking about... Um, if you so if you take a slime creature whose base damage is I don't know let's say it's twenty I'm not sure what it is, uh, and when they combine into a large slime creature they add together their base damage and their HP and there's something with like forty damage and twice as much HP, and if the third one comes in then they have sixty base damage and it's like oh well that shouldn't be much worse than fighting uh, three regular slime creatures right but no it's much much worse because you only get are you kidding me. God, I hate Deep Elf Mages. You, won't, you only get to roll the armor once against all that, so... Go away. I hate having woken everyone up, but... Um, so instead of... If, if three of them attack you with damage of 20, you take, like, an average of, let's say, 30 damage, 10 each, minus... Uh, your average armor roll times three, because you get to roll it three times uh, for once for each attack. But if they attack you uh, as a single combined slime creature, you take an average of 30 still, but you only get to apply your average armor roll once rather than three times, uh, is why they're so much more dangerous uh, together. Uh, so that's why you, you should try... Um, not to fight. I mean, you, you generally shouldn't fight a lot of monsters at once, whether or not they can combine with each other. But uh, especially if they are slime creatures who can therefore combine with each other, you should endeavor not to let them do that. So there's no enchant armor, but we've found two dragon armors already that I would be reasonably happy to use anyway. Um, you know, maybe gold dragon armor would be better, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't be, and if, you know, we have fire dragon armor now if we want it. That's the, that's the, so like people say, that, mm, I'm sure I've talked about this before, but uh, that's okay, I like talking, that's why I'm here. Um, newer players, or maybe players who are not new, but just like maybe less experienced. Uh, like to save up their uh, their scrolls of enchant armor for when you eventually get gold dragon armor, because like it's the strongest armor you can have in the game. And you know, there's we could take issue with the first the supposition that it's the best armor you can have in the game. Um, there are definitely some good things about it. It produces it reduces damage by a lot. Uh, it gives you great resists, um, but it makes it really hard to cast spells. Where like you can cast stuff in fire dragon armor. It's not even as a melee dude. It's like you've got the experience to do that. You know, cast regen, repel missiles, that kind of stuff. Uh, whereas in fire dragon armor, it's quite difficult um, for most characters to get that going. Um, but okay, let's let's say we take for take as given that it's the best armor you could possibly have. Um, even so, it's often not the best armor to actually try to get. Um, you, you shouldn't wait for it because you would rather have a subpar armor at the end of the game than die before you get the best possible armor, right? And you tend to have access to fire dragon and ice dragon armor long before you have access to gold dragon armor. So, uh, so you usually don't want to wait. And so that that's what leads sort of uh, some some more experienced players to say that gold dragon armor is bad. You know, it's not exactly bad so much as you know what what is clearly you know. Mm, it's not bad, but it's not, like, you shouldn't wait to get it. If you find gold dragon armor in, like, Orc 2, like, sure. A lot of characters who are, like, 
very melee focused would be willing to take that even though it means that they'll like probably never get to cast spells whereas otherwise they could eventually cast some spells uh, just because it's quite strong defensively you have to you have to adjust your game plan for it by saying I'll never cast spells uh, but which, which a good player normally doesn't go into a game with the plan of never casting any spells right even on a, a melee dude, it's like I sort of plan to get some spells eventually. Um, but, you know, if you find early gold dragon armor, you might adjust your expectations and say, you know what, maybe I will never cast spells this game. But you shouldn't, like, save up all your intent armor until you finally get gold dragon armor so that you can never cast any spells! Like, that's not exactly a great outcome. There's a lot of dudes. They're yellow. Are they dangerous? Mm, kind of. The demonologist. What is his uh, magic resistance like? Well, okay. This is the. They all have quite a bit. All the uh, dangerous elves have quite a bit of magic resistance. Uh, the demonologist actually has less than the other two, but it's still quite a bit. What what uh, what could we evoke against them? Our lamp of fire is back up. That's nice. So we could do that. Aim it there. Yeah, that's a pretty good line. See here, it didn't follow a straight line. So all right. So that is no that is not a thing that is guaranteed. Uh, whereas earlier I thought maybe it had become guaranteed. Uh, yeah, let's charge in here, actually. They they walked through the fire to get to me. I'd like to meet them while they're still damaged. And in particular, while the Demonologist is in front instead of in back, that makes him much simpler to deal with. We have a good corridor here to fight in. It's not an ideal engagement, but it's okay. We still got yeah, the, the elementals are no concern at all. The issue is I want them to walk up to me, and they have ranged spells that they might choose to use instead. All right, we're back up to six pips of piety. That's good. I mean, I don't, the, six, the sixth pip doesn't really matter very much, but uh, it's a nice proxy for knowing that we're far from from dropping down to four pips. Because the fifth pip does matter quite a bit. We get, we get Enter the Abyss for that. Yeah, so Waltz, I guess, is... Oh my god, another one of these dang enormous slime creatures. Waltz is not exactly a walk in the park, but it's fine, it's manageable. Elf might have been manageable too, but I feel a little bit safer in here than I was in Elf. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but every time we've run into like a group of monsters where I've been like, oh no, this is a dangerous group of monsters, it's been a bunch of Elves. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? 2% fail is fine. Let's turn off Invocations and get that experience working elsewhere. Like that or something. So as I was saying, uh, it's kind of good to make fire dragon or, or uh, ice dragon armor or something rather than waiting for gold dragon. So why am I not doing that? Well, it's just we don't have any any enchant armor, right? And our plus two chain is like fine um, for now. Certainly, it's better than wearing dragon hide. But it's probably better than wearing like a plus zero dragon armor, maybe, I guess. I'm not sure, actually, it might be worse. So when I find some scrolls of enchant armor, it will soon be time to uh, to enchant it, enchant it up into armor. Enchant the hide up into armor, that is. Uh, what's the bog its magic resistance, anyway? Pretty low. I don't know what happens if I banish him. I'm not sure if I should try. 
Let's just kill him. They're pretty easy to kill, usually. Yeah. Oh, the boulder beetle, beetle is real. Who knew? I could have checked, but I didn't. All right. Made it through vaults one. And uh, in between this and elf one, I think uh, I think it's probably time to call this video. Uh, I think this is, is this like episode 11? I don't remember. It's kind of fun. No, we're past episode 11 now, I think. Uh, the Minotaur Berserker game finished in 11 episodes, and we, we couldn't. I'm not sure we even got a rune in our first 11 episodes. Oh, well. Going at our own pace, trying to win. That's the idea. Trying to make it game number six. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about a bunch of dumb stuff. Let's just end the episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.